two new storms this evening. One just moving out of the west heading to the midwest before hitting the east, and the other winding up yet again to hit the west all over again with up to five feet of additional snow. Ginger Z and Matt Gutman timed all of this out tonight as families were just starting to return to their homes along the slick road in snow-battered Crestline in San Bernardino County, where we met Samantha Latino and her toddler Gio resident. Oh mama you're alive. I'm so grateful. Little Gio is so happy to be home and back with his toys. Oh that's scary. I have no idea how I'm going to handle that. But like so many families here, there is still a lot of work to be done under a mountain of snow. These mounds are cars, and college students have been working to dig them out for the past two days. They estimate that there are still five to seven here. And throughout this region of San Bernardin when you go towards Big Bear, the whole length of the 18 still has to be plowed up. Workers are still rushing to clear the roads. North Yosemite National Park has said they will be closed at least until the weekend this year. Nevada is preparing for an extra five feet of snow at South Lake Tahoe. Workers clearing snow from roofs in an effort to stop more falls. David since the roads in those mountain villages are still so with snow right now authorities only allowing residents to go a policy that they say will be in force until next week cause there is still so much more snow to be removed well. David, we can see the queue of families who are attempting to return home tonight. Once again, thank you, Matt Governor. Let's go on to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, who is monitoring both of these systems. All eyes are on the next storm that is coming out of the Rockies and heading into the northern plains because it will deliver four to 10 inches of snow. You see those winter storm watches. We are facing some fierce winds with the white caps on the Hudson behind me. Twin S cities Iowa Western Wisconsin Mason City. Our focus then shifts to the weekend for doing the majority of it Friday and Friday night but Thursday through set is the window with that abundance of tropical moisture 2 to 5 feet of snow in the highest elevation. Chicago, which has been pretty snow starved for the season about 15 inches below. Average, we'll get a couple inches with this as it slides through on Friday. Major issues with all that snow and rain David cannot get a break in the West Ginger Z will watch in the morning. Thank you Ginger. This channel will show you events as news, politics, economics, entertainment, Hollywood news, world news, sports news, live news, bank credit, loans, educational, education, insurance, today 360 news, floods, storms, earthquakes, and sometimes beautiful events. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.